Okay, I was asked some time back uh, by one of my subscribers if I could uh, maybe do another video of the studio. So, uh, this is going to be a very quick one at the moment. As you can see, it's in a bit of a... <laughs> it's in need of a tidy up, basically. Um, so this is what was, back in the day, uh, BLDJ Studio, then it was... Um, CPMG International and then it went to PAMS International and then went back to um, BL Studio. This is the third reincarnation. It's not commercially used these days. I don't do anything um, for anybody apart from um, Supernova Radio. I do some DJ work for Supernova Radio which is an internet based radio station out from Los Angeles. So um, <clears throat> that's the only way it gets used and generally these days when I'm doing that mostly it's on the computer which is where most of this stuff's gone so for any younger guys that's dropped in and looking at this thinking gosh this is an antique uh, you're right it is an antique and as you can see it's in need of a tidy up so um, I'm not going to be playing anything today um, but I'm, I'll uh, try and get some stuff together on the next video if this works because I've not put anything up on YouTube for almost three years so I'm not really sure if this is all going to come together and work. Uh, as you can see the um, triple stack jingle machine there is a broadcast electronic. It's a mono machine, playback only. Uh, that came from Ray actually, Ray Anderson at uh, East Angler Productions. And uh, the two uh, or the three machines there, um, one record playback and uh, two just playback, they're stereo um, Sony FX machines. And as we pan across, we have um, below is the Sony DAP machine, which is probably an antique these days, uh, but cutting edge in its day. And the um, above that is the uh, uh, CD player. It completes two CDs at once. And the old-fashioned cassettes, uh, two of those still work. Out of all, the, I had loads of those machines at one time. The Rusco Studio Pro Model B turntables with the grey microtrack research arms came from Roger Squires in St John's Wood back in the 1970s. And a friend of mine, Cliff Lake, um, acquired, um, I got this from Cliff, uh, which is the Alice Mixer which is the 828S. Um, all the stuff that we did back in the day was done on that mixer uh, when it went downstairs. Um, as you can see, it's had an awful lot of use. It's had an awful lot of repairs done to it over the years also. Uh, the meters are PPMs, uh, peak performance meters. They're not VUs. Um, so, uh, cart machines... Um, cartridges, loads of cartridges. Um, some of these came from Chris after he passed. Uh, his brother th phoned me up and said would I like to, uh, the cartridges or so we're going to go into a skip um, and that would have been a shame. Most of them are in need of new uh, pressure pads which you can actually um, build yourself. You can actually remake the pressure pads. A bit tricky but can be done provided you've got the lubricated tape. I got sort of rid of a lot of them um, they're up there as well. Uh, past the Caroline picture, up there. Loads there, and another load <laughs> down there. It's crazy. Um, I've got some more to get rid of at some stage, so um, I should be doing that. These are 78 records I, col I was collecting, and occasionally still do 78 dance band music from the 1930s. And the music library. Um, these are obviously 45 vinyls and up the top there there are some of the tapes the problem with the tapes is they shred um, this is obviously a, a problem that everybody seems to have and so very difficult to play um, down on the floor there past my rubbish bag <laughs> is the A77 Revox which was the very first Revox I bought um, years ago now uh, that's been rebuilt a couple of times in its lifetime and I have two B77s and uh, one's been rebuilt and the other one's down to be rebuilt. So I've got the bits to do that. And uh, the capacitors and stuff came from, uh, I think it's Peter in Australia, does kits for them. Uh, Russ, uh, that's the um, Garrard 401 turntable. I tend to use that just to play the 78s on. Uh, there's a Allen & Heath mixer underneath there that controls the computer. Um, 
we do a mixture of uh, sort of vinyl and um, MP3 stuff for Supernova Radio. So it's uh, it's just stuff that we do um, occasionally. We don't do lots of it, but we do quite a do a bit of it. You know, it's not every single day. Um, so it's generally just bits and pieces. Electro voice microphone and the angle poise, of course. So there you have a quick tour of the studio as it stands today. I've not actually switched it on. Uh, underneath the desk, and you won't be able to see it even if I put the camera down there, is the 303 uh, quad amplifier that drives the Tannoy Devon speakers, which of course these days are quite um, an old speaker. But uh, again, they've been recombed twice, I think, in their lifetime. So that most of this stuff has been with me almost as long as I've been on the planet. Not quite as long, but almost. So thanks for your interest. Um, I will try and post some more if this does go up on YouTube. And um, maybe run some jingle stuff. I, as I say, I've got some master tapes and things that you may be interested in. Um, and I've now got the time. Now we finish with the uh, wedding business. Um, I've now officially retired. Managed to get to that grand old age, being one of the many baby boomers on the planet. Um, so uh, there you have it, DT100 Bayer headphones, in case you were wondering what they, the headphones were. The studio needs a good clean up, which I'll try and do, as I say, um, now we're into the Christmas sort of holiday season in two, uh, 2016. Okay, well thanks for your interest, and um, hopefully um, I'll post some more videos soon. Thank you. Bye.